Schechter. This is News 13 at 11. We begin with breaking news in Buncombe County. The bodies of two missing teenagers have been found in a submerged car in the French Broad River. Buncombe County deputies say the bodies of 19-year-old Aida Batiki and Swain Forsyth were discovered inside the car late tonight. The teens had been reported missing in late December. And News 13's Ashley Searles is live off of Glen Bridge Road. The car has already been pulled out, right, Ashley? That's right. The car has been pulled out, and so the scene has been cleared here tonight. And it was just a short time ago that we saw the ambulance drive out of here slowly. And that was really our first indication as the media that these two bodies had been found in that car. Troopers say it appears that the car veered off the right side of Glenbridge Road, which is in southern Buncombe County, and into the water. And deputy, deputies believe this wreck likely happened the day these two teenagers went missing. Now, some had thought that perhaps the pair had run away. Family had said that Swain and Aida were a couple. But of course, tonight when that Mercedes was pulled from this river with their bodies inside, the search ended with officials saying this appears to have been a tragic accident. Well, I think any family holds hope until there's no hope left to hold. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people talk about having closure to be able to bring their loved ones back home and have some resolution. But uh, I don't know that anything, you know, makes that any better when you've lost your child. And this was just uh, one of those terrible accidents. Now, authorities responded out here around 7.30 tonight after a kayaker reported a car upside down and underwater. Deputies say, say they sent divers down and were able to ID the car fairly early on, but then it was a little while until they could actually pull the car out of the water and make sure it was these two teenagers who so many people had just hoped had run away together and would return home. And so it was only then the deputies were able, able to identify them and then notify next of kin. They said they did that about a half hour ago. Reporting live tonight in Buncombe County, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.